a quick tour uh, of the room before we trash it. Two season Bayside Hotel. We have Cartoon Network, that's the only thing that we were watching. Uncle Grandpa, bears and magic swords. Amazing, man. Look at this, really, really nice view. Smart place. Down in the lobby, they have a big wall that shows you all the must-seen in Koron. They also have pointed out where 10 Japanese ships sank, which now are a very popular destination for divers. The hotel have a unique interior that is truly inspired of the underwater experience. You can see corals, and they also have giant lamps in form of jellyfishes in the restaurant. To prepare our day, we went down to the breakfast buffet, which is included in the room rate. They had all kinds of food for the hungry. Traditional Filipino breakfast, which is rice and corned beef. And also something for my sweetie stomach, which is bread, salad and fruits. We continued our day staying at the hotel and relaxing because at the afternoon we will heading to a town tour. Not so many people stayed at the pool that day, probably because they do different tours at daytime. We just stayed at the poolside goofing around. and trying out their wonderful fruit smoothies. Here you can see the local people enjoying the afternoon. On one side you have the beautiful view over the sea. And if you turn around to the other side you have the majestic view over the mountaintops. Sleeping giants which are over there. 
vlogging, Johanna's vlogging. There were a lot of cute handmade crafts that suits well for gifts to bring home. Pai. Pai. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This small but intimate church was built for the first time in 1901. They have made renovations since then. In 2012, the construction was completed and that is what we see today. The great ascending starts right now. This is gonna be good. Minute height. We'll see how we go. Johanna. Already for like four steps. I said good. four. Keep on going. Got some really nice shots on the mountaintop, yes, you know. Get the workout. Yeah, good workout. Peace. Mount Tapias is one of the most beautiful places in Koron if you want to experience the sun setting down behind the islands. The best time to go is during afternoon, when the temperature is getting a little bit lower. This was the last stop of our tour. It was a rough and bumpy ride going here, and that is because the roads leading here are privately owned, and it will cost them a lot of money to remake the roads again. Inside the area, they have toilets where you can change clothes, and there are small huts where you can put your stuff and just rest. No, I don't know. Makini hot spring. <laughs> we need to be here at night because it's hot springs, so it's too hot to be here during the day. When it's dark like this, mind your steps so you won't slip and fall. It's very rocky here. <laughs> Because the weather is warm and also the springs, you can see most of the people are sitting on the side and just enjoying dipping their feet. Now I'm actually gonna go head up and, and change my clothes again. Uh, and it's really nice here, so we can just walk around. People are, seems to be having a really good time. Yeah, it was a good day. It was a good tour. Okay. Peace out. Peace out, signing out.
That concludes our Corona Town Tour. Thank you so much for watching. We hope you like it and find some tips for upcoming visit to Kron. Please leave a like and hit the subscribe button. We will continue with a new episode of our trip from Kron to El Nido and some adventures there. See you soon!